Welcome to all of our subscribers of the Global Energy Association. We are continuing a series of charts with the authors of the new report, 10 Breakthrough Ideas in Energy for Next 10 Years. Today, we will talk about the blue hydrogen with Alberto Abanadas, full professor of Technical University of Madrid. Hello, sir. Hello. And my first question, Professor Abanadas, hydrogen is not yet playing a full role in our lives, but already we see strong debate between supporters of blue and green hydrogen. In our opinion, uh, will this intensify or will everyone come to an optimum solution uh, suiting both sides? What do you think? Well, what I think is that, uh, in fact, the optimum solution is, is using both. So sometimes people have to look at technological issues of extremes. So uh, of course they come from different uh, technologies uh, between blue one and green hydrogen. They are different technologies indeed. And they are in fact uh, separated by, by the source of the hydrogen. So now we have, we need hydrogen. The hydrogen uh, it's, it's needed uh, with low emissions. So this, uh, this hydrogen with low emissions only can be obtained from two sources. One of them is water and the other one is hydrocarbons. These two main sources. So one of them, it's uh, used to be a green hydrogen. This is supposed to be the green hydrogen with electrolysis. And the other one is what is called blue hydrogen uh, because they use thermal, uh, thermal systems, uh, thermal processes to extract this hydrogen. So, uh, of course, uh, each of them has different problems from the technical point of view, but at the end, I, I don't see this like a, a, a fight between between two ways to understand life. You know? it's, it's you need a hydrogen. There are two sources, and then the optimum solution, uh, I think, is, is it could be uh, using both, hmm? yeah, at least in the medium term. What can blue hydrogen do that a green hydrogen don't? Well, one from one side. Uh, blue hydrogen can be applied at very large scale. And we need very large scale hydrogen production. So that means that uh, this is already available. So steam reforming uh, has been used for a long time to provide hydrogen at very large scale. Something that uh, green hydrogen has to, has to solve hmm, in such a way. Hmm? So they have to increase in scale. On the other hand, uh, blue hydrogen uh, require much less uh, energy than, than a green hydrogen uh, to obtain the final hydrogen. So that means that at the end, there is a question that the uh, blue hydrogen is good when you have a scarcity of energy and, and also with, when you need a very high scale application now, and blue hydrogen could be, could be good in the future, could be better in the future if they are developing the high scale application. But on the other hand, they will need uh, as well uh, more energy. For, to produce the hydrogen. Blue hydrogen is produced from natural gas. Does this mean that nothing much will change on global uh, commodity markets and uh, that the main experts, uh, uh, experts of blue hydrogen uh, will be the same countries that currently export natural gas? Or could there be any differences? Do you, do you talk about this kind of geopolitics regarding? Uh, yes, this? of course. Well, uh, blue hydrogen, it's, uh, it's not only natural gas, it can be also called gasification. So somehow they can be used both. Of course, the, the, the impact will be different and the needs of, of uh, CO2 sequestration will be different. But uh, in fact, it could be both. Mm -hmm. uh, the hand, there's also the turquoise hydrogen that, uh, that include uh, it can be obtained, of course, from natural gas, but at the end, uh, we have to see uh, blue hydrogen, not only as natural gas, but also uh, the question of using hydrocarbons. Mm -hmm. So this is, uh, you can, it can be different ways of producing methane, let's say, uh, that strictly, of course, is much easier for countries that already have this resource, but, uh, but uh, I think it will be diversified. 
uh, the main suppliers of blue hydrogen will be natural gas exporting companies. Are these uh, companies ready for such transformation? How much time and money will it take to build the necessary uh, plants and set up production? Well, the main, the main uh, producer of blue hydrogen uh, is not necessarily the main exporter of natural gas, because at the end, uh, blue hydrogen is produced by a processing of natural gas. It's like saying that the production of, of, of petrol or diesel are the oil exporter countries. So uh, the natural gas producer, they will export natural gas or they can as well export hydrogen, a blue hydrogen, if they use this process. But uh, the, the receiving countries of this natural gas can produce themselves also the blue hydrogen. So this is not a completely, uh, it's not an equation that is it's, it's an equal, it's, it's, it could be changed. So um, in this context, uh, what, is, what is interesting is that uh, the natural gas companies, and in particular the fossil companies, uh, uh, they have they have to, to they have to understand or they have to see that uh, the future, the future, the question of the CO2 uh, sustainability and so on will will uh, will uh, let's say force the transformation into slightly hydrogen i'm not of course i'm not uh, uh, let's say uh, people who knows everything in the future of course but they can uh, they, they are going to be forced to reduce emissions and the force to reduce emissions from a source that contains carbon is to go to, to go to produce solid carbon and hydrogen or producing co2 and sequestered co2 so in that sense, uh, they need a technological transformation to be able to uh, accept uh, this challenge for their so, uh, for the, for survive hmm, in order to, uh, to transform technologically uh, and to develop the processes to produce uh, hydrogen and make it compatible the use of hydrogen with, uh, uh, with the transport of hydrogen and so on. So uh, one of the problems of using blue hydrogen is storage. What are the most promising solutions or ideas now? The storage of hydrogen is, is of course, is, is one of the problems, especially in a very high quantity. So the, the, this, this, um, this problem, if we can say the problem, if there is a solution, there is not really a problem, but uh, uh, the solution in the future Maybe uh, not the uh, storage just of pure hydrogen, but the storage of uh, a hydrogen compound. Let's say in that sense, uh, uh, synthetic natural gas, for instance, you can store synthetic natural gas as you store natural gas. So you can transform this hydrogen into synthetic natural gas, or you can uh, produce ammonia as well. So you can use ammonia as storage media. So that's, that seems to be a, a very interesting very strange uh, systems to, to store hydrogen. Uh, on the other hand, as I told you, linking to what I told you before, if you transport the natural gas to the place where this hydrogen will be consumed, it could be possible to transform this natural gas into hydrogen on site. So that means that you are going to uh, store natural gas. And this is really a, something that is already uh, already available. So it's, it's done for, for decades hmm, at very high scale. Uh, hydrogen is believed uh, to be a cleaner fuel than uh, traditional sources, but uh, are there any harmful effects of blue hydrogen technology? Well, the question of blue hydrogen technology, um, uh, one of them is the environmental impact in uh, normal operation. The blue hydrogen at the end, they have uh, the needs of uh, CO2 sequestration. Uh, the harmful effect will depends on how technology will evolve in the future. You know? From my point of view, uh, the weak point of blue hydrogen and the potential harmful effect uh, could be uh, one is the sequestration of CO2 that should be done in a safety way. And, and it, of course, it should be identified places around the world in which this uh, sequestration could be done 
in a safety way, and there is not so much. I mean, so much at the beginning as I know. I mean, I'm not, of course, of course an expert. Uh, on the other hand, the question of, of the uh, natural gas leakage, but this is something that, uh, in this case, if you transport hydrogen, is not uh, really a problem. Hmm? Uh, this depends if you use uh, natural gas for transport hydrogen, but uh, this is uh, not a problem. So uh, from the point of view, the, the most harmful effect could be the the failure if this could be done if this could be could 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 happen the failure of of co2 sequestration uh, sites uh, we know about the european union uh, hydrogen strategy unveiled in 2020 what are the plans for using hydrogen in other developed countries such as uh, the united states japan and china well the uh... The, uh, in other countries like um, United States, for instance, uh, they are also very, very interested in using using hydrogen as a CO2 or low CO2 emission technology for the end user. Mm -hmm. But uh, and, and they and they also would like to to use hydrogen from the sources that they have that of course they also have natural gas they also have oil so at the end the blue hydrogen is, is into its portfolio with japan uh, i think they go more for electrolysis so this is blue hydrogen maybe is not so important for them they are importers of, of uh, net importers of uh, of energy of natural gas of course uh, I, I guess I think that they are more interested on, on, on something like electrolyzed, like the European uh, situation, more or less. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, with China, uh, I think that is, is, is similar to the United States. So uh, the question of blue hydrogen is is uh, is uh, is let's say taken as a as a possibility or taken as a technological options. Uh, mainly, maybe more intensively than in Europe. Hmm? I don't say that in Europe is not to take consider, take into consideration, but uh, they are they are they are more more interest hmm? at political level, hmm? at European level. It's, there is like, there are less interest, hmm? but in, even even though there is some there are some activities uh, regarding blue blue hydrogen in Europe as well. Hmm? Great. Thank you, sir. That's it. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.